Okay, this is going to be a video to show you how I make some geodes. I'm going to make geode coasters right on this board. Um, but I don't use acetate. Okay, this is just a 12 by 12 piece of um, MDF board. Just because I happened to get 12 by 12 cut last time I was at um, Home Depot. This is basically just a piece of plastic. Uh, I got this at Home Depot too. It's um, HDK. Now you can see it's got a couple wrinkles in it. So what I want to do is, is I want to smooth it out. So what I'm going to do is, this is um, Elmer's Craft Bond. Um, if you do it, um, if you do it and let it dry uh, for, a few, for a few minutes, which I will be showing you some other stuff during those few minutes, or I'll cut it out, I don't know yet. Uh, this is my very first video, so bear with me. Okay, basically, um, uh, come on, open up, there we go. Okay, match it up to the, to the dot. don't need much and it's best to wear a respirator and be in a oof, well ventilated area this stuff stinks but you know what you only have to smell it for a few minutes oh I got my paper all sticky okay anyway um, okay I'm putting down the first one And what you want to do is, is you want to smooth it out and get rid of all those little wrinkles. Because you don't want those wrinkles to show up in the bottom of your, um, in the bottom of your, uh, geode coasters or big, big geode, whatever you're making. Now this is going to be the tricky part because there's a big crease right here. So I'm going to use one of my little uh, swipey tools, which is uh, one of these things. It's made for automotive, uh, I think fiberglass putty, I don't know. It's, it's, it's in the automotive section and it just, it works good for smoothing stuff out. Okay, now what I want to do is, is I want to hold this up and I want to smooth that crack out because I'll tell you what when you buy this plastic and you try to find a spot with no cracks in it to be you know no fold marks it's impossible but this is what I used to do when I was doing um, vinyl, adhesive vinyl. You just want to smooth out, smooth out all, what you can. I mean, you may not get it all smooth. Uh, and if you need to, you lift it up a little bit hold it down just right above it now it doesn't matter if you get it all the way up to the edges because you're going to tape that okay oops I forgot my tape ah. see I didn't get that all the way up to the edge there but what we're going to do is is we're just going to tape it down on the back and pull it tight and where'd my tape go Sorry about that. Didn't have my tape handy. Okay. So basically, you want to pull it as tight as you can. So you want to do opposite corners. So basically, you want to pull this as tight as you can. And you're going to tape it down right there. Okay. Now we're going to do the opposite corner. Which I think that, um, see, I've never stretched canvases before, but I think this is the way you're supposed to stretch the, uh, 
stretch the uh, canvas when you're um, putting it on uh, framing bars, I think they're called. I'm sorry if I can't think of the right words. It's not something I normally do, so I don't know what it's called. But I do know I saw somebody do this where they did it in the exact opposite. Okay, now I'm going to do these two corners. I know this is probably boring, but I want you to see every little bit that I do. I don't know when I do this video if I'm going to have an intro on it yet. I don't even have that, but people wanted to see how I do this, so I'm doing a couple of little videos to show how I do something and what works. And to tell you the truth, the, the barrier stuff that I have, it should work. I had seen uh, Joe Patty with it. Okay, see, now this one needs to go over a little bit more just to get it flat. Okay, so far, yeah, see, so far we've got just about everything flattened out on here. Okay, okay, now we're going to do the other four corners. I know this is probably boring, but this way, for those of you who have never done this before, Okay, now what I like to do is, is I like to I like to pull this over to, to uh, tuck it in and then put this down. Now another thing you got to be careful of with is not to get it so bulky on the back because if you lay it down on your table with the bulk, it's going to not be level then. But to solve that problem, just get yourself a couple of cups or a couple of um, um, uh, those little painter pyramids. Okay, I'm going to tuck this in. It's the opposite corner from the one I just did. There we go. Now I'm going to do the corner, the bottom corner here closest to me. And because that's folded up, that's going to be a little hard to... Uh, okay, that's about the best I'm going to get that one folded. See, it makes a little bit of a bulk, which, you know, with resin, it's going to make it run a little bit but the added bonus of this is you're going to have um, the barrier so if it does run it doesn't run that much because I've tested out this uh, barrier just with one layer on a board like this and I'm going to add some colors to it okay here we go okay now here is my barrier. I saw Joe Patty use this, and I thought it was so cool when she did it. So, I'm going to use, oh God, come on, out. Okay, it's not going to come out. There we go. Oh. Well, that'll just get hidden inside the silly putty. Okay, you want to tear yourself off a piece. Then you want to, sorry, I didn't realize. Okay, there we go. You want to tear yourself off a piece and you want to get it soft and you want to kind of uh, roll it. And you, technically you can do it on here too. Oh, I just don't have the, this stuff is hard right now. It's, it's not soft and I don't have the strength in my hands. So you can also, besides rolling it, you can also kind of squish it and pull it a little bit. Now I'm going to try something because I had a hard time getting a flat side. So once I get it rolled, I'm going to flatten out this side. 
Okay, then I'm just going to push it down. You want to try to make you want to try to make an airtight barrier or resin tight barrier, I should say. So, I'm trying to keep the inside edge flat, but I'm trying to get the uh, get the putty to stick. Now I need a little bit more right there. So here we go. Now I'm not this is going to be a coaster, so I'm not going to do it. Um, okay, flatten. So I get that side. Okay. Well, that's not quite as thick as the other one, but that's okay. Now, I go around and I make sure all of this is done. Now, I'm going to cut out me doing the rest of them, but you get the idea of how I put the barrier down. Because I don't want to put anything on the outside because I want this silly putty to be reusable. Okay. Way with any other resin, if you um, if you um, um, make it too thick, you'll have bubbles. So I'm gonna try. And you know what? That red is sinking. I think I better add just a little bit more. Yeah. Add just a little bit of red right on top of the gold. Okay, now, uh, first I want to pop the heat bubbles and soften up the resin. Okay. That's all I'm going to do to those. I mean, they're going to get another layer a little later on. Toothpicks, where are you? You guys are hiding. I got all kinds of some stuff the other day for alcohol inks. And it's in front of some of my stuff. Okay, here we go. Mm, now it's getting lost. Ah, uh, I was afraid of that. Oh well. Well, these will get a second layer, maybe even a third layer. Okay, there's the coasters. That's what the coasters look like. Oh, you can't. I need to fix my lights. Anyway, okay, I set these off to the side. Now, when I showed you how to do the plastic, this is why you don't want any little bubbles in there, okay? Because the, uh, the plastic, and it looks like, now this only got a real light layer. It looks like, looks like it didn't leak anywhere. Okay, I'm going to use the last of the green. This is my second layer on this, even though the first layer was kind of, um, kind of thin. And this one will probably end up being thicker. set that down there pop the bubbles and make it a little bit liquidy and I probably still don't have enough green
Now, I don't want it to, to be, how do I put it? I don't want it to look like a geode with stripes. So, I'm going to smooth this out. That's the nice thing about having the barriers. Okay, come on, cover it up. See, I didn't, I, I didn't make enough green. So you're going to end up getting another layer, I think. I don't think I have enough clear to make another layer. Okay. I'm going to have to use my fingers to push it up to the edge so it covers the whole thing. Push it up over here to cover up those cracks. I did the, the sticky stuff on the back of this too. I just don't know why. I, I must have been in a hurry when I stuck this down. Okay, to make this one thicker, I can tell you right now, this is going to need this is going to need more layers. Ah, I forgot my alcohol wipe. So, I'm going to make one real quick. That's it. Spill all the alcohol. Ah, come on. There we go. Okay, wipe my gloves off so I don't get alcohol, I mean, resin everywhere. Okay, mix this up. I'm putting the gold down first because it seems to have covered up the red. Okay, ah, there's a little bit left. I don't know if I got enough left for an actual tile coaster. Okay, red. I might do a little bit more gold right in the middle of it. I don't know yet. gold I got left. Yeah, I got enough left. Just want to do a little bit in the middle of the red. Now, none of these are the stone stone coat um, base tint so I'm not going to get any cells. First let me heat it up. Just heating it up to make sure I get pop all the bubbles. Okay now Let's see what happens when I stretch them a little bit. Okay, I want more action than that. So, I'm going to do some figure eights. Kind of get the red into the gold. I'll go around the whole thing. I don't want it to have a specific design, but I want it to look 
Oh, I guess it would help if I got it up on the camera, huh? Sorry about that. Not trying to make my colors muddy. Well, I don't have many colors here. Okay. Ah! Okay, wipe off my fingers so I do not get my heat gun. Okay, now. Let me try heating the resin up again. I can tell you right now this is going to need a couple more layers. I might even do might even do some crystals or glass or something. Okay, let me see if I got a little bit more gold to add. gold is getting lost you know maybe I didn't put enough gold in there but usually your gold takes over if you use too much I never had my gold get lost I bet you I didn't use enough glitter in there but okay I think I'm going to put a little line right here. I want to put that one isn't as big as the others. So I want to put a little bit more around it okay let me do oh, sticking to my plastic let me do some more heat and I have no idea where that white line came from Gotta be careful not to get it on the uh, plastic too much because the plastic outside will lift up then. I have been known to use too much heat, so I'm going to stop. And I'm not going to use those for another coaster because I got four coasters over here I'm working on. I'll be right back. Hang on. I want to put this uh, I want to put this in my dust free zone. Because these little guys, oh god this thing's heavy. Okay. They're in the dust free zone. I'll close it up in a minute. I'm just going to use the rest of this red. Wait a minute, I want to put the gold in first. This is what I've been doing with the last of my of my um of my resin. It's just doing layers in these shot glass molds. Some of them have turned out rather interesting. I'm still working on how to clear coat them um, because they're not a flat object. Okay, and the last of the red right here. And this is just about going to fill it up, I think.
Okay, here we go. Sorry, I keep forgetting to talk much, so... Anyway, I will do uh, part two for those uh, coasters and, um, for those coasters and those, um, um, and the, uh, wreath, which I know that's, that's late getting the wreath done. Let's pop these little bubbles in here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, I will be back with a part two to these. Is there any green in there? Eh, there's some green left. Ain't gonna hurt to have a little bit of green under the red. I always have to make more um, resin for the next layers. As I can see, I didn't have enough. Oh, I do have some white, some clear left, so let me make a little bit more green out of this clear. Didn't know I had any clear left. Forgot about it. And it's still workable. I don't know how long I've been working with it, but it's still workable. You know, one thing I want to do is I want to try to get this little bit of resin up right here. There we go. And don't really need to add any pigments. There is enough in there. Eh, well, it's not as green as I'd like it to be, but it's kind of mixing with the, uh, with the, uh, um, red. And that's for another day. This is going to get turned over. These are going to get wiped off. So anyway, um, I hope everybody enjoyed this. I will do a part two uh, to this. I'm cleaning off my little stir sticks. Before anybody says anything, I know these don't say artist till death on them. But I don't have that many, so I had to... Take a piece of plexiglass and cut my own, but hey, they work. So that's what I'm doing with these. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave you right there for now. And cups. Ah, I don't have a resin garbage can right now. Anyway, um, I will see you guys in part two. Okay? Laters!